we discussed moda or waste and its seven types in the previous segment now we will discuss mura and muri mura refers to unevenness or fluctuations in world so oh, it is usually caused by fluctuating production plans so on one day you are making more products on the other days you are making lesser than that so this problem of mura can be reduced by hajanka and hajanka means production leveling there are there are different ways to actually achieve that and uh, that is actually the topic of production planning how we can make a level production plan because if you are sure what you have to make a worker knows what he has to make and the quantity and the requirements are consistent then of course you can improve uh, the the process otherwise it's very difficult because the expectations are not clear but mura does not relate only to unevenness in the quantity to be produced or work to be done mura can also include variations in quality there is a saying that uh, even the consistent errors are easier to correct now if if the if the errors or problems are uh, consistent i mean there are some specific errors or some specific problem that are occurring then they are easier to correct as compared to uh, non uh, random problems so on one day you have one type of problems and on another day you have uh, different types of problems sometimes there are fewer problems sometimes there are many so it is very difficult to find the root cause if even the quality problems are even randomly distributed so this is the example of uh, mura just to illustrate the concept so the job for this worker is lesser as compared to this so this is could be for machines as well it could be for different departments as well so sometimes you are making very few and sometimes you are making many products so that is a big challenge and we have to target it then we have muri hard to do hard to do so if the task to be done is greater than the capabilities of someone if he or she is not trained to do that job if it is more than the mental level or the uh, or the intellectual capability of someone all these are example of muri so hard to do can be because of different reasons so it could be variation in production the quantity to be produced is very hard in a certain time the production targets are higher than what can be actually done in a certain time it could be hard to do because of poor job design or ergonomics too much effort is required to do the job than it should normally take too many too much effort is required or the working climate is not suitable there is too much temperature too much noise poor part fit assembly is tough to do because of poor design of the product in educate tools are there uh, for example you need certain tool you need uh, jigs to perform the job a drilling operation but that is being done manually you need fixtures you need certain gauging but these are not provided and the job is being done manually so that will be hard to do specifications are unclear the worker is not sure what he or she has to do so uh, there is mental stress or uh, unnecessary effort in order to make sure that the thing being made is according to the requirements to be to be on the safe end because of unclear specification so that is also an example of muri so let's take a simple illustrative example we have to move a load of 6000 kg using a forklift truck that has a capacity of 2000 kg so if we use six strips each of 1000 kg so that will be muda waste because instead of three trips we are having six trips so that will be the waste of transportation now if we make two trips of 2000 kg each and two trips of 1000 kg each 
So that will be Mura or unevenness. Two trips are uh, are uh, transporting greater load than the other two. So the job is uneven. If we have two trips, each of 3000 kg, so that is more than the capacity of this forklift truck that has a capacity of 2000, but we are transporting 3000 in, uh, in each trip. So that is Muri or hard to do. And if we use three trips each of 2000 kg, then that is the best approach. There is no Muda, no Mura and no Muri. So that is an illustrative example to clarify the concept of uh, these three M's. Let's use student analogy. Suppose a student needs 60 hours of study to succeed in a course spanning one month period. So option one is the student studies three hours a day for first 10 days, one hour a day during next 10 days, and two hours a day during last 10 days. So it is obviously Mura unevenness. So the level of learning will be not that high. The second option is that the student does not study for the first 20 days and study six hours a day for the last 10 days. So of course that is, that is Muri. It will be hard to study 10 days for 10 days and six hours a day. And there could be of course some problem on one of the days. So this six hours may further increase. So overburden. Student is studying and attending phone call or watching TV during study time. So that is actually a waste or muda non-value adding activity. So as a homework, you have to cite and explain at least two examples of uh, each of Mura and Muri from real life. So in this lecture, we discussed what is value, what is value adding, what is form value, what is place value, what is waste or muda, what are its seven types how they can be addressed. We discussed some very general guidelines. We will go into details in the, in the following lectures. What is Mura or unbalanced? What, is, what could be different forms of Mura? What is Muri or overburdened? And what could be different forms of being overburdened? In the following lectures, we will discuss some more topics. You can go through chapter number two from lean production system and these two reading materials for, for clarifying the concepts further. Thank you.